Hello. Hello. <laughs> Why do I always start my live streams like this? Hello. Oh my goodness. I am so tired. <laughs> I am so tired. Like, I don't know if I look tired. Okay, wait. I need to... <laughs> I need to bring my music back to life. Okay, beautiful. Um, yes, I just woke up from nap. I have to go back to school again today until 7.30 p.m. <laughs> 7.30 to 7.30, let's go. Um, anyways. How are, is everyone? <laughs> hello, hello, um, Noah, hello, Vimo, Sam, Tom, Phoenix, Paco, <laughs> Paco, Paco, uh, Glider, um, Super glider. Wait, did I? That must have been the first glider. Burning ants. Hello. MS19. Como estas? Uh. <laughs> um. Sleepy. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. I was actually. Is this music? I feel like this music is too loud. Too loud. Okay. I woke up 30 minutes ago and I was like. I don't know if I want to stream. <laughs> but here I am. I, yeah, honestly, this is what happened. I was like, I opened, let me see. <laughs> I opened like this post here. Wait, shit. This post and I was going to edit it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I was going to edit it to say like next week and like, <laughs> like next Sunday and like take this part out and like I don't know I don't know and then I was like I was literally editing it and then I was like no and then and then my one of my headshots my photographer finally posted one of my headshots on his Instagram and then that actually kind of woke me up I was like Ooh. oh my god what is up with this the sun is being so weird today. It's been raining in LA like nobody's business. Nobody's business. <sighs> um, oh yeah, just for anyone that doesn't know, I was going to stream on Sunday, like I usually do. Um, and for anyone who does know, I said it was like a surprise shift. Um, it wasn't technically a surprise shift. I didn't lie to you guys. I lied to myself. Um, I had it in my calendar as a day shift, but I forgot that it was a day shift. I thought it was a night shift. And so I actually showed up an hour and 40 minutes late because my boss called me to be like, where the fuck are you? And I, it was a solo shift. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll be there in five minutes. Me literally in a Snorlax onesie about to stream. Um, it was really bad. There was, it was really, oh my God. And those customers, they were so upset. <laughs> they were so upset. Um, anyways, anyways, oh my God. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to read the next chapter of that comic, but I'm looking at this and y'all really tied the vote, didn't you? 40, 40, 40 and 40%? 40 Come on now, y'all. What is this? Okay. Um, anyways, so the tie the vote was tied between Minecraft and Jubilee or Cut Reactions. Now, I need to find... Listen, 
I'm... <laughs> Listen. Um, yeah, it was very sad, guys. It was very sad. The transformation? When the transformation came out, you have no idea how many times I repeated it that day. Like, hockey? With the Kwame's or... Um, anyways, so I'm actually playing on my friend's server. I actually started playing Minecraft again, um, which is fun, but oh my god, the sun. Like I mentioned, I'm kind of tired. So like, I need to find some Jubilee or Cut videos to watch or like, you know, other stuff. Um, <laughs> so maybe you guys can help me with that. Um, okay, I'm gonna try. Wait, why didn't it like, did my stream not get my thumbnail? Oh no, it did, it did. Okay, <laughs> um, Jubilee. Okay, how about, cause like, okay, this is Jubilee. Okay, um, you know, I'm just gonna pick the newest one. Oh, also, this is gonna be a slightly shorter stream. It's gonna be slightly shorter because... Oh, Chloe's transformation? Wait, is this new? Hello? Uh, wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh god, Monsieur. Bye, Devante. Beta Squad. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's British Jubilee. <laughs> Anyways. I think I'm going to pick this one. Oh, yeah. You guys can't see. This one. It's called Do All Lesbians Think the Same? It's the newest one. So <laughs> this will be fun. I don't know if I need the music in the background, though. Let me know if you want me to turn the music off. But maybe I'll just turn it down. Okay. Uh, yeah, this will be a slightly shorter stream because I, I am tired, <laughs> and I have school. Is a real thing. Three, two, one. Wait, what is the real thing? <laughs> I don't even know. It's not what you think. It's scissoring. It's not what you think. Oh. So <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, they're talking about sex. You know what? If you don't know what it is, you don't need to. Listen. 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 <laughs> this is gonna be so funny. Um. Listen, I am bisexual. So, this is relevant, okay? This is relevant. I have fallen for a straight best friend. Yes, yes. No, just once. <laughs> I was gonna say twice, but no. I, oh my God, is this gonna be story time? <sighs> no. <laughs> I had this best friend in high school and I'm like very, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Um, yes, I'm a very codependent person. Um, I, I like, I'm not really a group person. Like I'll choose like one or two people to like get really close with, um, which is very different than on the internet. Cause I'm like very open. Um, but like my vibe, okay. You guys don't know this, but my vibe in real life, like people see me as uh, cynical, <laughs> like standoffish. Um, that's just my vibe. Like, that's not on purpose, you know? That's just, like, my vibe if I don't know you. Anyways. <clears throat> okay. Anyways. So, uh, I really was in love with this friend. <laughs> and she was straight. But, like, she'd, like, protect me. She'd be my protector. 
Um, yeah, like I was, I was like bullied before and she'd make sure I'd never get bullied and like, um, she was like super, she was like jock. Like she's literally in college. Like she literally got free college cause she's a fucking jock. Um, she's literally better than the guys. Like she's the best jock in the school type vibe. Um, <laughs> somehow I'm straight <laughs> or something. I don't know. Um, and she decided that she didn't want to be friends with me anymore because I was too exclusive of other people. Um, like I only wanted to hang out with her and I only wanted her to hang out with me. Like kind of, so she was like, nah, I want a group of friends and said, bye. Um, after like six years of being best friends. <laughs> and then I was alone <laughs> and really depressed. <laughs> That's the story, guys. <laughs> depending on who watches this. I mean, okay, depending on who watches this, this person I'm also might already know or might not know. Um, I have a fear of loneliness as well. So that was really fun. <laughs> um, bye thoughts, story time. Help who you fall in love with. I think that's clear. We all know that we already have attraction. That was my problem was knowing but not being able to tell um, anyone or doing anything about it. So like literally going home every night crying and like, why am I like this? How can I change? And especially growing up in a small town where there's really no queer people. So who you really only gonna fall in love with straight people. I think when I was younger, I was like obsessed with my best friends, specifically like girl best friends where I wouldn't say I was like in love, but I placed a lot of like the love feelings that I mm. wanted on them without knowing what it was. It never Yeah, happened. oh my God, story time. <laughs> She was like, she was talking about like girls when she was little. Um, so I was like, I used to like hunt down boys and like kiss them when I was little. So being the small, small bisexual I was in a world that didn't teach me that it, that existed, <laughs> um, I would want to do the same things with girls, but I wouldn't. I thought it would be weird too. Um, I, there was this one girl on her birthday. <clears throat> we, um, we went to the bouncy castle by ourselves and we shared a lollipop like back and forth. And that was like indirect kissing. Like that was like, we made out like for like first grade. Like that was first grade or kindergarten. That was very serious. That was like, indirect kiss like the whole anime thing like because like y you don't like do that because like cooties and like you don't like share food until you're like in high school because that's just weird you know and then like also there was times where i wanted to like kiss kiss girls why is this turned into like some bye <laughs> should i change the title <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, there was one time I was dared to kiss one of my friends. And, like, I secretly w really wanted to do it. And I assumed that she wanted do, to do it as well. And I didn't know if she did. Because I just thought that that's how everyone was. Like, that's how all girls, like, thought. Because I thought I was, like, like everyone else. <laughs> I don't know. It's a confusing one. Even, like, long, long It's a little ago, confuser. I I was always dating girls who were not straight. If I had found out that someone I was interested in was straight, I'd be like, that's it. I had a lot of internalized homophobia um, and all my friends were always queer growing up since like elementary school. So for me, I think I never gave myself that opportunity to like fall for a straight girl. Basically, mm. a lot of my women- that, The opposite women. happened <laughs> to me. I got, um, like as a bi person i felt really validated whenever that i'd have a girlfriend because that would show people like hey i'm here i'm queer <laughs> and like my mom because my mom uh, i think still believes it's like a phase so i actually developed a heteroformia heterophobia um like i wouldn't want to watch it in tv um i came to the point where i i did have a like 
I was in the longest relationship I had ever been in. And it's actually my current boyfriend as well. Um, <laughs> I, I, I had like heterophobia in my own relationship with him because it was just, it was like, I just felt kind of repressed by my mom. <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like I had to prove I had to like go over the top to prove that you're queer when you're bi and you're in a relationship when you're in a hetero relationship. Like it's you know, cuz like it like mattered a lot to me and I wanted other people to know that too. So that's why I cross-dressed for a year. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Okay. Are queer or ended up coming out. I've lost a lot of friends for coming out because it's like, oh, like the Kaylee, she's a lesbian. She likes me. No, that's not how it is. My very attractive best friends that are just my friends and are like this, you know, and that's just how it is. This ring is a real thing. <laughs> Three. Okay, two. we can skip this one for YouTube. <laughs> um. Okay, and this one. <laughs> okay. Gay men are more privileged than lesbians. I oh. feel like women being on the queer spectrum at all is like less legitimate to some people than like men saying that they're on the queer spectrum at all. A lot of people refer to me or other women in my life is like it's a phase oh there it, you'll get over it it's a phase but like yeah i don't really see that happening with men but this is like lesbian it's not, it'd be worse with bi they're gay which with bi girls i think is a privilege it is like in a way a privilege because you're already established i'm a gay man like i can't even tell you how many times i've been with my partner and my partner and like oh that's your friend by my own parents oh how your friend doing yeah when i life? would have a girlfriend my mom would call her my friend when she damn well knew. She damn well knew. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Me, how's my friend doing? You know I don't do this with my friends. <laughs> Unrelated, but the amount of times I've like visibly kissed my partner on the lips in public and then had somebody come up to me like, you're really close with your sister. Oh, sister. <laughs> and I'm like, excuse me. Oh my God. Um, uh, so yeah, I do under, like that is always really weird. Like, where does she me, live? Um, but that was, that was a little unrelated, but it does happen a lot. I think that we all have our own struggles. Um, I've known people where it's like, oh, I'll, sh I'll show my, I'll tell my kids about lesbians, but not gay men. Like they can't see that because for a lot of men, they, they fetishize lesbians in a way. So it's less, it's more approachable for them. Gay men, they're like, oh no, like, you know, like the F slur, all that stuff, like very aggressive towards them. So That's I feel true. as if it is easier to come out as a lesbian to some people based on society's like fetishizers and stuff. It's funny because it would probably be the opposite. I'm Mexican and my dad, one time we would like go to rent movies and one time he got Brokeback Mountain without knowing what it was about. <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, sometimes two men fall in love. And then when I came out to him, it was like the most disgusting thing to him. Uh, really? For my culture and my experience, it's a little bit different. That actually, because... that was kind of how it was in like Roman times. Cause like guys would usually have a wife and then they would also have a fuck boy. <laughs> they would ha have a little twink. <laughs> this is what they called it though. Um, have you ever heard of the twink god? That's because of... It's because um, a lord made his... Uh, his uh, lover, young lover, um, after he died, a god. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then, like... So, it was, so, in a lot of societies, actually, it wasn't that normal for women to have relationships with other women it would be normal for the guys to have relationships with other women until like the island of S sappho became a thing a woman being with another woman yeah. and like a man not being present um is kind of just fed into like the machismo 
in my culture, so that's why I would strongly agree. Lesbianism has always been not only fetishized, but romanticized. People get to cherry pick what part of queer culture they want. Wait, I've kissed a girl before and I'm straight. Is that bad? No, I think actually most straight people do that. <laughs> um, yeah, for sure. Cis women kissing each other at parties and, oh, that's so cool. That's so ha 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 quirky. In a sense of hate and hate crime, you're a lot more to take a double take at two men holding hands than you are at two women holding hands. Because are they besties or are they a couple? You know, you never know. I have damaged relationships with my loved ones because of my sexuality. I feel like my relationship wow. like with my parents has kind of shifted it since I came out. I have no regrets. Like my parents love me for like who I am. And even though they're a little hesitant, like, you know, I have one of my guy best friends. Are you sure you don't want to date Sean? Like, he's so nice for you. I'm like, they don't get it. It's that still that disconnect because I do wish they reacted a little bit better to it. But there's nothing I could do about it. At the end of the day, I still love who I am and I'm not going to change myself for even my parents. I grew up severely Mormon and my relationship with my father is non-existent. Any Mormons out there? And I am a firm believer it's because he chose the religion over me. The only thing he said was, read this verse in the Bible. There was no conversation or nothing. It still hurts, obviously, because he's still my father. But if he's not going to love me 100%, don't love me at all. And that's how I see it. Similar to you, I had kind of a rocky relationship with my dad. He was very angry when I came out. And now he's at a place where he has told me, like, I accept that you're gay and I accept that you're gonna be with a woman. He's like, I just had a, a vision of what your life was gonna pan out to be and, and you kind of just threw that off. Uh, he tells me he accepts me, um, but it's just gonna take time for him to acclimate to being around my partner. Uh, my dad is also like terminally ill, so I rather not carry like anger through the remainder of years that he has left with him and just kind of like acknowledge that at least he's he's trying to um, make an effort to love me for me yeah actually my family was really similar like for the most part accepting even though i expected them not to be you know um i think it's because i kind of uh i did use clothes and appearance <laughs> to kind of force that thought into their head so they already expected me to come out which is actually what happened <laughs> uh yeah i also have and that was like way before um when i had short hair that was like two years before that when i started cranking up the gay i have spoken to my father uh this year will mark five years and when I came out as trans, my attraction to women, uh, my father had a problem with it at that point. I guess it confused them. And to this day, that is an expectation that trans women should are, are only attracted to men, and that's not the case. I'll, I'll say now, I miss my dad. I love him. I tried. It's done. I feel bad. It's like I mean, everyone has such a, like a heart. I was I was been very blessed. Um, my family's very accepting. They've always they've always knew. So when I came out, they're like, okay, very lucky. Really? <laughs> I'm about saying that up that I'm like. No. <laughs> we love that. We love that. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. No, that's, I'm like I'm like I'm gonna stay quiet. <laughs> you feel safe around your parents, which is what a lot of yeah. people don't have, and hopefully you're gonna carry that onto your kids. I'm surprised they expected it though, because she looks like <laughs> but, feminine, you know. Like, you'll get to share that with other people, so don't feel bad. I think it takes families by surprise, and surprise can be a shock. And shock takes time to get over. Yeah. That's why <laughs> I was just being super gay. And I was also the president of my gay club at school. And that, and <laughs> I was vice president for two years before that. So, like, 
at the very least, they knew I supported, you know, you know, and they're like, I don't know, my parents like very, very, like very Republican, but like they won't like say they, they discriminate against anyone. You know, <laughs> the good thing we're yeah. happy for you. <laughs> no, no, I know. It's chill. I'm like, it's, it's like, it's yeah, like okay. Definitely, definitely. I don't know. This is a wrap. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's a wrap. Yeah. So good. Give yourself a round. It's a wrap. <laughs> wow, wow, you guys. Um, wait, let's see what time it is. Okay, I, I have to go to the comic now and then i'm gonna have to end the stream super early maybe only like 40 minute stream but it's because i have school <laughs> so i'm sorry um ooh. if i can just get this okay what happened last time um Okay. What happened in episode two? Oh, yeah. He's just super pissed off at her. Yeah, he's just pissed off at her. And then something's kind of happening with Marinette and Cat Noir. Ooh, like this? That was really cute. I love this. Um, okay, so this is like the end of Origins here. But the difference is... Marinette saves? What? It, who saved them? I don't think it was like Ladybug's origins. Okay. And then he's just like defending Marinette. Oh, and then the umbrella scene. Okay. This is so cute. I love this art style. Like the hearts and the eyes. I love. Okay, so, ooh, stormy weather. Okay. Oh god, I do not know her voice. <laughs> this is very, oh my god. Cute Robinette, age ribbon, Chloe Vin, <laughs> no more. Robin Buck, wow, wow. Um, okay, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, okay, god, what is her voice? I don't know. I'll just, I don't know, whatever. Okay, you're like cats. You don't even listen. Oh God, <laughs> this is gonna take some energy. Hold on, um, let me, I don't know if you can. Okay, okay. What do you mean you won't transform me, Adrian? is at the park and he needs me. Can't, I'm tired. And I seriously doubt that. <laughs> Wait, okay. Um, okay. Wait, I just have to remember how to read it, right? Okay. I got you chocolates. Cookies only. Cookies only. Oh yeah, she's pissed off. Um, do pen chain cookies only. What? <laughs> okay. Vote now for a lore, uh, for a roar, one for a roar, two for Marielle. Oh, a roar mentioned this was today. <laughs> that wasn't Marina. <laughs> oh, a roar mentioned this was today. Should I vote? You know Morel. I know a roar. Wait, I know a roar. <laughs> Morel kind of keeps to herself. 
And then you're a sweet Timurel. I can introduce you to Aurora. Okay. Very cute. I love this. Who dat? <laughs> Alia? Hey, girl. I've got a scoop for you. Adrian's got a photo shoot at the park. <laughs> so? Park! Girl, this is your shot. You, you get close to your crush. Huh? I'm not crushing on Adrian. Really? Sorry, my my voice is so bad. My my voice quality because I'm I woke up recently. I mean, he's cute and I like that he stood up Chloe. That's all. Wait, I have to add music. What music should we add? Romantic? Romantic music? Okay, let's add In the Rain. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Since we just had the rain scene. Okay. Okay. I mean, he's cute and I like that. He set up Chloe, that's all. Park, park. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous stood up to Chloe. Oh, Marinette. I know you don't feel that way about me. You're incorrigible. Wait, what did that say? <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, wait, I need to read this part. Truth, the truth comes out. Does Marinette is gay? This is so true. This is so on topic for the stream as well. Wow. <laughs> Men on, 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 on. Wait, pro reader right here. Yes. Wait. Yes, a read through, hello. Um, so me whether that sounds slightly like a deeper tiki. I would do tiki. Okay, I can do tiki higher. I just need to try harder. <laughs> um, usually voices take like a while to get into for each one. And like, so skipping between them is a little difficult. Um, okay. We don't do subtly in this house. Oh my god, Adrian being a queen. Come on now. I'm just doing a French accent for him. I want to see the hunger in your eyes. Give me a smile when your mom brings in spaghetti. He doesn't have a mom. Balloons! Wow, uh, you really like spaghetti, huh? And the winner is Morel. Wow, sh she kicked your ass. By like half a million votes. Or was it a million votes? Point is, you hella lost. Oh my god, Alex, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Oh, we need more energy, more romance. We need a girl. <laughs> I'm not even trying to do a male voice for him, it's just, I cannot. A uh, girl? It'd be great if I could pose with Marinette. Here we go, and here we go. <laughs> A lovely extra for Adrian. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Who, uh, curb your enthusiasm, dick? Wow, Alia is on the narcissism arc of this episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. Relax. Oh, wait. Relax. Hey, guys. The perfect girl for the job is right over there. Wait, that's... that's Okay, wait. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Relax. The perfect girl for the job is right over there. Yay. Oh, hey, Rachel. <laughs> Why can things never just be nice? What? Wait, that was... What? Okay. Wait, there was a little bit at the end. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 
Oh, she's getting equipped dice. You definitely should have won. I obviously should have won. Muriel, Muriel can't even look at the camera for more than five seconds. Ah, oh, yes, I agree, which is why. And she never dresses professionally. And she, she's going to give the, give the report in her pajamas. Oh, uh, nothing. Worse than a sloppy looking crew. <laughs> Thank you. What? Hello? Adrian can't catch a break aggressed. What does this mean? Okay. Dress to unimpress. Chloe, what are you doing here? Obviously, I'm here to model with you. Excuse me. I will decide who models with Mr. Adrian. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know who you're talking to? Oh, an idiot who wears white pants to the park? Excuse you? All who voted for Morel, I advise you to move indoors. What? What happened to Morel? I wouldn't worry about her. Why has this gone so 80s, Shira? Wait. I wouldn't worry about her. Okay. I don't know why she's getting an accent. She just is. Okay. Frostbite is nothing to worry about, right? Hippity hoppity. I'm off to destroy her property. <laughs> she's getting an accent. She's getting an accent. Yes. Um... <laughs> All right. Oh my God, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Sorry about her, Marinette. You okay? Height of insanity. Yeah, thanks. It's not your fault. Oh my God, my voice. <laughs> but you shouldn't deal, but, <laughs> but shouldn't your bodyguard deal with her? Eh. Hey, yeah, where is he? I'm tall now. As if I'd work with someone with such poor color coordination. Blue eyeshadow. Grr. <laughs> and I've already chosen a mortal. Wait, why is he British now? Okay. And I've already chosen a mortal. Wait. <laughs> chosen a model? Okay, that's better. Her? Uh huh. Zap. Whoops. Seems a cold front has rolled in. Loki wanna see Alia work the catwalk while side eye <laughs> Chloe. True. Okay. Stormy weather. Lapse of judgment. Aurora, what are you doing here? It's stormy weather, and I wait. Why did I come here? It's just balloons. <laughs> More importantly, who did you vote for, Marinette? Of course I voted for Aurora right before I left. I voted for Morel. Oh. Bitch. <laughs> Manon, no, 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 no. <laughs> Should have kept that one to yourself, Manon. Okay. Total whiplash. Manon, are you okay? It's cold. <laughs> I'm gonna call for help. Okay, be careful. It'll be okay, Manon. Cat Noir and the Scarlet Lady will be here soon. Yay! And tell the mister of, of the Unicorn Princess. <laughs> Sounds good. Chloe, you have to transform. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. You have to transform and fight the Akuma. Zap. You're absolutely the right, Tiki. So even Chloe can. Oh, wait. <laughs> so even Chloe can be selfless when she needs to be. What I'm really wondering is how the hell did Chloe help Master Fu across the street? <laughs> you know? Like a bruh. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna watch the stream afterwards. All right, bye. <laughs> bye, bye, Nathan plays. I see you. Okay. Um. Okay. After all, she's interfering with my date with Adrian. There it is. <laughs> Can you guys hear my tea gear or am I too quiet? Um, anyways. <laughs> Adrian, have you heard of ducking for cover? <clears throat> nice of you to show up, Scar. It's Scarlet Lady. Now stand aside. I'm taking this Akuma out for ruining my date. Someone wants to date you? <laughs> well, hurry up and take her out. Oh my god, you're so useless. <laughs> uh, wait. Back down, Ice Queen. Gust. <laughs> ha! My hair! Wait, is that her? Oh. <gasps> my hair! <laughs> Flawless victory. <laughs> okay, someone hasn't been practicing, Chloe. Open communication is important. Oh no! I gotta get her out of here. Why am I doing a mic under my. <laughs> I gotta get her out of here. I gotta get her out of here. No. Um. Hey, let's talk. Whimpers. <laughs> Where are my balloons? The contest only just ended. Uh, they just told me just take to make Mural merch. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Hogmoth, I need to have a chat with the producers real quick. Crash. <laughs> Wake up and smell the conspiracy theory. Shake. Katnamar, are you okay? Yeah, but where'd the walking tornado go? She's broadcasting from the studio. Bleh. It'd be good to keep her grounded. I... <laughs> I am awed by your cleverness, my princess. My princess. Giggle. <laughs> quite done. If you're... Wait. If you're quite done. Inflating the votes was genius. People will be, be talking for years. It's raining. <laughs> huh? Murel hasn't come upstairs yet? It's pouring. Wait, who is... The old man is snoring. Aurora? Come, come on, Aurora. He went to bed. So you lost, that's, that's no reason to... And bumped his head. Let's talk about... And he didn't get up in the morning. <laughs> A little plot twist. One of us is about to have a bad day, and personally, I'm having a great time. <laughs> okay. Nobody left behind. Tricked you, airheads. Have fun in the dark. <laughs> you won't get away, Frosty the Snow Girl. After all, I can still see you. Hey! Yo! Wait. Oh yeah, okay. I know you weren't about to just leave me behind just now. That was part of the plan, yeah. <laughs> I guess there's nothing to do but wait for Aurora to be defeated. Mm. Tap, tap. <laughs> Why is he here? Ugh! I hate this. I want to do something. 
Well, maybe you should have guarded your purse better, Marinette. Oh, that's how that's how Chloe got it. That's how Chloe literally stole Tiki. <laughs> I forgot about this. Wait, I'm just trying to read the comments right now. <laughs> oh my god, wait, is something romantic happening in my chat? Um, wait, Rainbow and Brittany. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Maybe it's this music. I'm, I've summoned, I've summoned it with the music. Okay. All right. Um. Why do I feel so satisfied looking at this? <laughs> okay. I don't know how many pages this has. Akuma fights are snow joke. Well, you gonna call your lucky charm or what? Yeah, yeah. Lucky a charm. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Really? You have a plan? We doing this or what? Alright. I don't know. Um, we doing this or what? I don't know. Who it is? I'll be borrowing this. Hey! Snag. Slam. You're grounded, stormy weather. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Just end me, please. The one to punch right in the funny bone. The best fit by far. Manon, Marinette. <laughs> Thank goodness, that's all over. But where is Mr. Adrian? <laughs> here, I'm here. And so am I. Oh, can't you take a hint? Well, who else could possibly match Adrian like me? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Perfecto. Now, places. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, my God. No one invited you. Bonuses. <gasps> Wait, can I save these images? I can. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay. <laughs> Sunny days are coming. Miral, it's a roar. Miral, I'm so sorry for attacking you. I won, f you won fair and square, and I was a brat. A roar, please be the weather girl. What? <laughs> I only did this contest to push myself out of my comfort zone, and I never wanted to put in any effort to win. Wow, that's kind of insulting. It's you who deserve to win, and I'm not the only person who would think so. Since the announcements, the phones have been ringing off the hook from your fans. Especially since I tweeted out that results are rigged. Hello? Ah! Okay. <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't say anything? Here's your co-host, Morel. And your co-host, Aurora. Ooh! Okay, that was the end. That was the end. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna end the stream. <laughs> um, wait, where's my sad music? sad music
It's... I'm leaving. <laughs> Wait. Where's my actual sad music? The stream has been so eye-opening. My eyes just have fluttered awake and it truly has been a delight. <laughs> oh my god. I've been watching Ghosts recently. It's like the British uh, sitcom. And there's this eccentric poet guy that uh, tries to do a podcast and it's like literally like that. It's so good. <laughs> Starring Robin as everybody. Thank you. Thank you, MS, for that. Um... I'm gonna check if I got any questions on Patreon for me. Oh my god, look at my tabs after I read this. Look at my tabs. Not my tabs. Okay, I need to chill. Um, so many tabs. Jesus, this could crash someone's like laptop or something. Okay, let me check um, the questions and comments section. Um, I, I just got one. <laughs> uh, react to your recent videos on stream. It'll be fun. Um, gonna have to save that for next time. <laughs> because this stream has been cut short. We really only had time for one video and one chapter. And that's like what I promised. So, um, yeah. Uh, maybe Minecraft next time since it was popular vote. Um, this time... Um, as you can see, it tied with Jubilee, but Jubilee's kind of fun. That was kind of fun. That kind of like went with story time, which had 20% vote. So, you know, okay. Just replying to discord. I've also been, uh, sitting in the Patreon live stream, uh, voice channel as well. This whole stream. Um, just so everyone knows. Now, last, last comments before I go, guys. Bye. Bye, Burning Ants. You do a very convincing British accent, by the way. It's because I, I've, I've studied, um, I've studied elevated British, uh, Cockney, standard American, um, I think what I did for Aurora was more standard American, which is like old timey American. It's just like standard American. Like, it's like that. Where Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I joined. Um, I was the one who recommended you the Scarlet Lady. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Are you Kiwi Cha? Yes. Yes. Hello. Your voice is Hi. so cute. Thank you. Um, I when I um when I read the comics and I was not planning on like actually and then I was like I read it. I said it was like an alternate universe where everyone is like instead of Marinette being like shy and stuff, she's more confident. If mm. if you notice, she's very confident, more like ladybugish kind of thing. And I was like, oh my god, this is so good, and. I was like, and then Adrian can be his, like, carefree without getting, like, you know, fall in love with Ladybug. So it's kind of, like, in that sense. And then... Yeah. Um, <laughs> and funny thing is that Master Food did not give um, Marinette the uh, Miraculous yet until later on. Because that's when they're gonna have three heroes. And actually, funny thing, the heroes is um basically basically um pat noir is kind of like the ladybug who's kind of in charge of everything and Ooh. stuff like that yeah so it's like it's it's amazing how it can be like instead of um what was it instead of uh ladybug in charge of you know keeping secrets and stuff like that it's basically adrian and it's that's why it's like uh, I was Ooh. already. Yeah. I like that. 
Yeah, so it's really fun. Um, a lot of people have watched the videos. The videos are like a lot more fun because it's fast pace, I guess. And it's um, you know, there's a video that they do this, they update it. But it's up to you. But it's fun to actually read it because um, you get to if you notice their outfit too does change too in the show. Like you know how they have one pattern and stuff. In this in this comic, they actually have different stylish of different things, so you actually can enjoy. And you will love Kagami, Luca. Oh. Everybody's here. Yeah, it's more developed. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I I like this better than the show plot. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's it's funny because um, it makes Marinette not too much of a stalker or kind of thing that we did not like about her and it makes her like oh my god if marinette did not get ladybug this would have happened in nature of things that would happen and it would have been like oh okay so she starts standing up with you know that kind of thing um and she started it, it's amazing and um, I already showed you what she looks like in that miraculous and stuff. It looks beautiful and stuff. Yes, so with the she, bee miraculous, right? Yeah, yes. That She's, she her, is cute. Her, yeah, her name is Marigold. Ah. <gasps> but yeah, her, wait, her, wait, her, but that's like her. It like combines her own name. No, M Marigold. Because okay, so in this story basically instead of the square thing it's a triangular so it's more like a triangle square instead of a love square where marinette is not in love with adrian he just sees this as a friend it's like you know it's kind of like a uh, adrian and marinette switch role so right. he thinks he thinks adrian you'll see it in funny quote when in the thing you'll say marinette will say oh he's just my friend and adrian's like <laughs> yeah, no, actually, Adrian crushing on Marinette is yeah. actually so cute. Yeah. But, like, does and he then... also like. Wait, that means. Wait, <laughs> that's a dumb question. I was like, does he also like Marinette as Cat Noir? <laughs> <laughs> um, so the reason uh, the reason okay. Cat Noir he's in Cat Noir he's calling her princess is he flirts with her so much in there and Marinette's in love with Cat Noir he does not know that Adrian is Cat Noir her biggest crush is Cat Noir not he he her her love you actually like it'll be funny you actually see so many poster of Cat Noir instead of Adrian it was hilarious too. And she's more in love to age uh, to Cat Noir, mm. and she's starting okay, like you know, okay with Adrian. But every time Adrian wants to do something, she'll just say, "Oh, he's just my friend," and and you'll see Adrian like having like this guy, like, what, like bleeding, like, oh no, why, <laughs> why? <laughs> Like, he's like, he can't believe that a Marinette's treating her like this. And he's been, you know, uh, war uh, thing. And there's a lot of, uh, basically, um, uh, Chloe's just like a side character. She's never, she's not going to have a development as much. But it's more like, um, she's just there. What would happen if somebody else like Chloe has the miraculous? And basically, the main cause would be Marigold and X Cat Noir, and you'll see a lot of that. You, you know how Lady Noir, you'll say Marigold X Cat Noir, and oh my God, those flirts are crazy. So like Marishat, but not Marish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's, there's. Wait, the does thing. he know? It's... Will he know that she's yeah. Marinette? No, he does okay. not know. He does not know. So funny thing is that uh, he does not trust uh, Marigold when Marigold appeared he does not trust it because he has traumatized with Scar who literally you know he has bad impression so at first he just does not like you know Marigold until later on he started you know having second thoughts like you know the ice cream started getting involved where he doesn't know if he likes Marinette or Marigold that kind of situation now <laughs> And I'm like here, like, oh dear. Oh my gosh! Wait, that sounds really cute. Wait, 
Wait, so yeah, there so, is so there is actual like Marishat. Yes. yes and yes. like Most the, of the Marinette. Yeah. Yeah. Content. Yeah, there's so much Marishat. It's not even a joke. Like I was like I feel like this is like I wish this was the actual thing because there's so much mirror shot that I couldn't believe. Does this like f actually keep following in like specific yeah, episodes? It's, yes, it does. Um, so it does go, but it has like a little twist where like the ending does not seem to be the like thing. Like funny thing, Lila actually does not like uh scarlet a scar and actually layla is a good person in this thing oh lila likes, yeah lila and actually likes meredith oh yeah because it's like he she's like because he does not like scar a lot like you know like they scarlet and layla you know they like adrian they started fighting and stuff since um well, uh, what was it? Um, Marinette only likes, uh, you know, uh, Cat Noir. She does not care. So, and when she said, "Oh, I don't like Scarlet," guess what? <laughs> Layla's like, "Oh my God, you're my new best friend," and decided to hang out with her. Yeah. And actually, she's more of. You'll see her more in the group now. She's like, "There's lying," you know. And actually, funny thing is, um. Alia is the one who's acting like Marinette. Do not trust um, Lila. She's a liar. Blah, blah, blah. That kind of thing. I'm like, you're like, damn, this is so different and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's 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 completely different in the show. But it's a lot. You could still see their characters uh, in different perspective. And that's mm -hmm. why I always like, enjoy reading this. I, I always get updated from... Uh, Zoe, because it's so much fun. She likes, by the way, Zoe, watch your stuff. She likes it because, you know, she likes content creators reacting to her comics and stuff. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So she's the one, she, she likes a lot of content creator uh, reacting to her uh, comic. Like I said, she, she, it's already season five. I, if you notice, it's season five now. And, <laughs> It still keep going and stuff. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Um. Make sure. Um. I know there's gonna be called intermission. Make sure to read intermission when you get there because that's when Marinette gets her be miraculous. Mm -hmm. When you, it, yeah. So it's a part where it's gonna call it intermission, and it's like the middle, and that's when um she's gonna get her uh, miraculous and. It's and Tiki is becoming like a really feisty. She does not like uh you know like uh the queen bee. Oh, I forgot her name. Um, the Kwame. She's not. She does not like it because she's jealous of her. It's like why can I not have Pauline? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Pauline. Yeah. Why can um why can I not have Pauline? And then Pauline's like, oh my queen is so sweet and stuff. And then you have Luca still liking Marinette. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it's crazy, but that's how it is. <laughs> no, it seems like super fun to read on live streams. It might take a while yeah. to read it all, but... <laughs> yeah, it does. It does take a while, but it gives you a lot of content, though. So, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's super fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you for recommending that to me. No problem. Yeah. I, I, I just, I just like, I went and saw you stream it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah. I've, yeah. The voices are starting to come back to me a little yeah. bit. I mean, if you need help, someone reading it for you, I'll help. <laughs> yeah, you could totally help as well. Yeah. yeah, I I don't mind. if. Let me know when you live stream. I will help you with the thing because I like I said I do my own voice too when I read this because you know that kind of thing and I guess I've been reading it twice like after I get updated I reread it again because I just love the story structure and maybe like I miss it and sometimes I miss the bonus like the bonus stuff that they have because that's like oh my god I didn't see that and mm, so yeah. bonus 
Yeah, the bonus is really good, honestly. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't miss the bonus where, uh, uh, what's that called? When Marinette and Adrian were doing models and yes. stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that happened to the show. It would have been cute. <laughs> right. Like, wait, did that not happen at all? In no. The show? It was Manon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, was so Manon. messed up. It was Manon. Yeah, so that's what happened. Wait, which, which voices oh. do you like doing? Uh, I can do... Uh, I like your Marinette's voice one. I can do Chloe's. <laughs> Because oh, you Chloe's can do Chloe's. Funny. Yeah, I can do Chloe's. Like, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I feel like, I, I can do Chloe's voice. I know you were struggling Chloe's voice. I can do Chloe's voice. You can do Marinette. Marinette, um, she, I love her part here because she's very confident <laughs> if you notice her. Oh, sorry, I have a baby with me, but like I said, um, she's very, very confident with her, uh, with her thing, I, I, like you know, she's standing up. She's not as shy as normal thing. Yeah, and then, yeah. So it gives me like hope. I wish that Marinette can be more like this in a show. Like, you know, like now she is. But I'm like, I want to see like the cleverness and stuff like that. Just like you know, the recent episode that we watch, just like in the show. And I was like, I like the author really put so much love to this uh, comic and I, like I told you it will give you a, a year to, to think because it's so much fun to read it yes yes it's like because yeah. you know all the references but like yeah. especially since they're based off episodes but like you still get yeah. like it's still like you're reading it for the first time yeah it's like you're reading it first time because you like Wait, I'm con like um, you feel like you're reading it, but it's not the same because yeah, yeah, yeah. like um, uh, you'll see in some episodes like the art, like copycat or other stuff. You'll see like wait, like thing I didn't know he was like that, but and then you'll see like the little comment of the author and stuff, the sassiness when it comes to that, and I love it. It's one of those favorite thing about <laughs> what they did. Yes, the sass. The sass yeah, is the good. sass of it. Yeah, it's my <laughs> favorite. And I was like, I cannot wait because they they my my favorite part of it is they're so close of revealing. Like I can't wait for that season season five and stuff. It's mm. it's getting intense, yeah. Damn, okay. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's the that's why I'm like, you should really read this because it's getting intense. <laughs> okay, well, I I don't know how long it'll take me to get to season five, but I will yeah. eventually. <laughs> yeah. So what happens is that they break it. Um, they break it like uh, mostly like episodes and stuff, but they don't follow like the way like how like season one have all of this they take their time actually so that's why it's kind of bit like if you see season one they were like wait uh it feels like this this is season one like you know but they actually when you get into intermission you'll see some stuff getting difference now it's like multi mouse coming in pigeon you know that kind of thing adding up to some difference now so in in a sense they kind of mixing some episodes up to fit the narrative of the story and you can actually see the outfit change for the villain as well because the villain does have changes if you see like um the next chapter uh they made uh nino's akumatized uh look much better than the show so if you actually seen that it was a lot better so that's okay. basically it. yeah okay well that sounds pretty great yeah. <laughs> it does <laughs> okay i uh just yeah just one more thing to tell you um alia is not gonna get the fox miraculous she's actually gonna get the turtle miraculous the turtle yeah <laughs> okay that's the opposite, and Nino is gonna want the one. So they. That's switched. interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm so actually, each, I'm looking forward to each, seeing that. Uh, each different holders actually is going to have a different... Ooh. Except yeah. for Katamore. <laughs> yeah, Katamore. Okay. Yeah. So you'll see. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Just let me know when you want to uh, do the voice and I'll join you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I usually stream on Sundays, but... Okay. I like around this time. <laughs> okay. All right. Then. All okay. right. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Okay. That was so fun. Um. Yeah. Uh. That was Kiwi Chaw. Thank you, Kiwi Chaw, for recommending this to me as well. Um. I have to go to school. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna have to end the stream. Let's put on some high music because we're not sad anymore. We are not sad anymore. It has been a good stream. Thank you guys for coming. Love to you. And I will see you in the next one. Wait, I missed the beat, damn it. It has been a great stream. Um, you're collabing with your band, Stope. Yes. Um, sort of a streaming duo. Wow. Yes. Okay. I missed it again. We're ending the stream. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye. I will have a good look at school. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.